Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at how to add and subtract decimals. So for example, let's say we have 25,28 plus 37,84. Now it's so easy to make mistakes with these. So what you got to do is you're going to use the column method and you put your two commas like that and you say 25. In fact, students squash these up too much. So I'm going to make it really spread out. You just decrease your chances of making a mistake if you do that. Okay, so notice that the two commas were underneath each other. And so now we just add. So 8 plus 4 is 12. 2 plus 8 is 10. Plus the 1 is 11. You then put your comma. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 7 is 13. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6. So 63.12. Now here's where people make mistakes. If you do the column method, which you should, you should put the commas beneath each other, then it's going to be 3, 4, 8. Then if you fill up, if you fill in the 27, it's going to look like that. And then the 4 goes in that position. Then what do you do for the 8? Well, you put a 0 there. You see? What's important is that the comma is above. Then the first number next to the comma for this one was a 4, and the first number next to this one was a 4. So they must be above each other. Now you can just add. So 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 4 is 8, the commas, 3 plus 7 is 10, and then 3. So you get 30, 88. 8. So here's 10, 04 plus 0 0.03. So put your commas, and then fill in the number from the comma. So it's 0, 04, and then 10. Then for the next one, there's a 0. Let me spread this out. So the first number next to the comma for that one is a 0. Then fill in the 0, 0, 003 from the comma. Aha, so it looks like something is missing here. So then you can put a 0 over there. Now you can add 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0. And 10. So 10, 043. Okay, so here's 3. So the first one, always put the comma and the comma underneath each other. Then you fill in 70, 204. That's a comma, and then 0, 0,32. So the 0 is right next to the comma, so it goes there, and then the 32 must be written right next to the comma. What you don't want to do is this. You don't want to put the 32 at the end like that. It's all about the comma, so you put it next to the 32. Then if there's anything missing, such as here, then you can just use a 0, and over there you can also use a 0 if you want. So... 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 0, and then 7. 70, 524. The next one is 10, 001. So we say 10, 001. Now fill in the comma beneath. That must, that's very important. And then it's 0, 4. Then if there's any empty spaces, you can use zeros like that. Now we can add 1, 0, 4, 0 and 1. You see it's quite easy if you just lay it out nicely for yourself. So that one was 10, 401. Next, so you put your two commas, then you say 0, 4, then this one is 0, 0, 2. So in these two spots we'll have to add zeros, which is fine, you're allowed to do that. Then you add them, so then it's 2, 0, 4, and 0, so it's 0, 402. We're now going to look at subtraction. So subtraction works the same. You put your two commas, and then you just fill in the number, 80, and then 403. Then you fill in the other one, 20, and then 04, always from the comma. Then if there's anything missing, you put a 0. Now we are subtracting, so 3 minus 0 is 3. 0 minus 4 you can't do, so you borrow this 3, I mean this 4, and that becomes a 3, this becomes a 1. So it's 10 minus 4, which is now 6. Then you've got 3 minus 0, which is 3, 0, and 6. So 60, 363. So this one's quite cool. So we've got 7, 0, 0, 4. Let's make that a 0. Minus 5, 8, 3, 2. And so 4 minus 2 is 2. 0 minus 3 you can't, so you go borrow. But this one you can't borrow either. So you go all the way to the 7. You cross that out, it becomes a 6. So you borrow that, you borrow that, the 1 that came from the 7 goes there, so that's now 10. You cross that out, it becomes a 9, and the 1 lands up there. So now it's 10 minus 3, which is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. So 1, 172. Okay, so here's 3 more, and then we're done. So 0, 043 minus, now fill it up next to the comma, so 0, 01. And then if there's any open spaces, add a 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, 0. 
comma and then zero. Zero comma zero three three. Thirty comma oh six eight minus now where do I put the two comma four? I don't do this for example. Why? Because the commas must be underneath each other, like that, and then you fill it in just like this. So the two is next to the comma and the four is next to the comma. Any open spaces? No problem. Add some zeros. Eight minus zero, eight. Six minus zero, six. Zero minus four over here, you can't. So you borrow, but now this one can't borrow either because it is a zero. So you borrow from here, which becomes a two. You add it to this one, which now becomes 10. You take away that so it becomes a nine so that you can give it to this one so that it becomes a 10. So 10 minus four is six. Then you put your comma. Nine minus two is seven. Two minus zero is 20, or two minus zero is two. So we have 27 comma 668. Next one, two comma 083 minus zero comma zero three two four any problems there yep there's no zero so that's fine okay so zero minus four you can't so you borrow this one so it becomes a two now we have ten minus four which is six two minus two is zero eight minus three is five zero minus zero is zero put the comma two minus zero is two two comma oh five oh six that's it guys so remember when plusing and minusing keep the commas beneath each other if there's any empty spots, fill in some zeros.